Coulomb's force law can be the basis for estimating the net charge on an object. Conservation of charge and Gauss's law are also the basis for the measurement of charge. In this demonstration, the particles are air-filled balloons of the variety used at parties. They can be charged by rubbing them with a dry cloth. They repel each other because they've been charged to the same polarity. Let's use measurements of the separation distance and the weight of the balloon to approximate the charge that's been left on one of the balloons. The threads that have been used to suspend them are tied at a common point. The spacing between balloon centers is about 50 centimeters. It's not possible to put the meter stick close to the balloons without their being attracted to Professor Zahn. His body's a good conductor. The charges on the balloons induce image charges of opposite polarity on conducting surfaces to which they're attracted. This image charge is just that responsible for attracting the balloons to any essentially grounded conductor in its vicinity. By now, one of our balloons is broken. But with new balloons and a renewed charge, the spacing looks to be about what we had before. Here's what happens when we insert the balloon in the Faraday cage. Watch the meter, too. Our charge conservation statement can be used to see that it makes no difference to the measurement whether the balloon makes physical and electrical contact with the inner box. From the dial settings on the top scale, a full-scale deflection is a charge of minus 1,000 nanocoulombs, the measured charge is 220 or 30 nanocoulombs. Let's see what we get for the other balloon. The reading's about the same, about 220 nanocoulombs. When the balloon is removed, the meter reading almost goes back to zero. Apparently, the charge is essentially removed with the balloon. What happens to the charge on the balloon if it's broken while in the Faraday cage and then removed? We've used scotch tape to hold the balloon together. Professor Zahn feels that most of the balloon was removed. The charge was not. <laughs> 